performance sponsorship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting participants and officials in a positive manner. Negative comments, profanity, racist, sexist, or other abusive comments or actions directly at officials, student athletes, coaches, or a team representative will not be tolerated and are grounds for the removal from the facility. Queensborough thanks you for your support and your cooperation. And now the starting lineup for the Westchester Community College Lady Vikings. Number 10, Amanda Smith. Number 31, Marie Almino. Number 21, Brianna Johnson. Number 15, Antoinette Morris. And number 20, Justine Zergo. The assistant coaches for Lady Vikings, Tanya Freeman, Marquise Marrow, and your head coach is Lawrence. This is QCC alum David Russell, the Lady Tigers getting ready to host Westchester. Starters for Queensboro, Dana Fusco, Corey Ballantyne, Whitney Hogan, Candija Carroll, and Erica Redwood. Starting five for Westchester, Amanda Smith, Justine Zerbo, Antoinette Morris, Brianna Johnson, and Marie Albino. Get used to the five Westchester players on the court, they're the only five on the team. Queensboro coming off a 36-point win on the road at BMCC. Impressive in CUNY so far. Remember, they blew out LaGuardia here. Queensboro wins the opening tip. Carroll got it to Redwood. Hogan to Redwood, about taking it herself. Hogan, bounce past to Fusco, barely got there. You're down to nine on the shot clock. Redwood, long pass to Fusco, they reverse the ball inside, it's batted away and turned over. So Westchester has the ball for the first time. Amanda Smith dribbling. Defense chance starts from the Queensboro bench. There's a nice shot by Albino, and Marie Albino puts Westchester up 2-0. Fusco, being guarded by Zerbo. Now Hogan, facing the zone. Redwood gets it on a bounce, takes the jumper, it's an air ball. And Amanda Smith with it now. Little over a minute in, 2 nothing Westchester. Some pressure defense, they get it back out. Smith, 15 on the shot clock. Smith directing traffic. Brianna Johnson's shot is no good. There's an offensive rebound, Albino puts it in. And it's 4 nothing Westchester. And Albino with all four points. Queensboro looking to get on the board. Redwood. Fusco, they go inside. Valentine had stripped away, goes back out to Redwood. Bounce pass, Fusco for three. It's no good. And chased down by Smith. Good start for Westchester. They lead 4 0, two minutes in. Redwood playing off of Smith. 
Smith to Morris. Good ball movement. They're down to 10 on the shot clock. Hogan got the hand in. Abino long pass to Smith. And Smith, the step back three, is no good, but Albino chases down the rebound in the corner. And got that pass inside through a crowd of Queensborough players, counted on the foul. Six nothing Westchester. And timeout taken by David Chambers, who was unimpressed with the Lady Tigers start. Westchester maybe to make up for their lack of depth. They already have the four other players back on defense. Smith trying to finish the conventional three-point play and does. Seven nothing Westchester. Remember LaGuardia came in here and they led eight nothing. Of course Queensboro came roaring back to win that game. So two and a half minutes in and Westchester with a seven nothing lead and a turnover. Westchester, they'll walk it up in no rush. Maybe try to shorten the game, fewer possessions. LaGuardia was a thin team also. They're looking for more parallels to that game. There were enough foul outs. LaGuardia actually finished the final two seconds, four on five. Down to five on the shot clock now, and a tough shot is good. I don't know how Zerbo got that one in. It's nine nothing Westchester. Queensboro still looking to get on the board. Three minutes and 15 seconds in. Yusko bounce pass inside. Valentine to Carroll, and Carroll puts it in off glass. 9 2 and a low pressure by Queensboro. Albino tracks down the pass. It was a little overthrown. Go inside. In a crowd of Tigers, they lose the ball. Redwood. Redwood going all the way to the basket and misses. Fusco gets it though. Second chance points, it's Corey Valentine who makes it 9-4. And Westchester was not overly aggressive on the boards. You could hear the coach saying, don't foul. He knows they can't afford to get in foul trouble. Smith. Takes a corner three, it's an air ball. Albino underneath, couldn't put it back. So Queensboro has scored the last four points. And now trail 9-4. Go inside, Smith got a hand on it, but Valentine gets it, misses. Carroll the rebound and the basket, it's 9-6. So Westchester scores the first nine, Queensboro scores the next six. Zerbo takes the shot and hits 11-6. And Zerbo now with four points. Redwood, bounce pass Hogan, they go inside, it goes off the foot of a Westchester player and will stay with Queensboro. And a sub going in for the Lady Tigers, it's Grayson in for Fusco. Nineteen on the shot clock. Hogan throws it in. It's tipped. Finds its way to Grayson. Grayson's floater is no good. Tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Queensboro. Queensboro with a little pressure. Albino got a hand on the pass, but finds its way to Morris. And timeout is called by Westchester.
use your timeouts a little differently when you have five players. Getting them a rest is a lot more important. If you had a deeper team like Queensborough has 11 or 12 girls, so when the other team goes on a run, you could call one to stop momentum. Here, yeah, this is getting them a breather as much as anything. You have to be happy with the start. 11-6, Westchester leads. Westchester ball after the timeout. A little over five minutes into the game. Westchester leading 11-6. Zerbo lost the handle on it and the ball goes to the Lady Tigers. A slow start for Queensboro. They trailed 9-0. Then scored six points in a row. Grayson, Hogan, Reversing the ball, Grayson going baseline. Pass was tipped, Carroll trying to get the hand on it and couldn't. Let's see, Westchester's done it a few times. They've taken the clock down and Redwood picks off the pass. Smith between her and the basket. Nice back and forth and Redwood puts it in off glass. And it's 11-8 now. Queensboro will do, should do a lot of attacking. Going inside, nice move on Carroll, but she couldn't score. It was Brianna Johnson who got inside. Now Grayson back the other way and lost a handle on it. And a foul is called as she hit Smith, and Smith is lucky because she came close to rolling over her ankle. First fell on Grayson, second on Queensboro. That was an awkward fall. And it's a good thing Grayson didn't have more momentum or else she really would have gone into her. Smith to Johnson. Pass was intercepted. She tried a bounce pass for Zerbo. Didn't get there and Grayson back the other way and she tried a bounce pass for Redwood which was too far ahead of the target. So the team's trade turnovers, it's Westchester ball. Thirteen fifteen to go in the first. Westchester is led all the way. And Hogan takes it away to Grayson. Grayson, a pull-up jumper, is short. And rebounded by Zerbo, and now Morris is trying to go to the basket and she'll wisely dribble out. Nothing but white jerseys in front of her. Nice pass inside, but Morris couldn't finish. And Queensboro has the ball down by three. They can cut the lead to one or tie it. Redwood. Hogan along two is banked in. Whitney Hogan with their first points of the game. 11-10 now. It's a 10-2 run for the Lady Tigers. And a near turnover, but Albino saves it in. Morris in a crowd of Tigers. And a foul called against QCC. A little too aggressive. And they had her right where she wanted her. That's the second foul on Grayson. And Grayson will go to the bench with the two fouls. Alana McRae is in now for the Lady Tigers. Amanda Smith takes a three. And that's no good. Carroll hauls in the rebound. Redwood. 
to Hogan. Queensborough looking for their first lead and Hogan gives it to them. Hogan off glass, it's 12-11 QCC. 12-2 run. Smith looking to give Westchester the lead back. Zerbo takes a long three and it's no good. Redwood with the rebound. Redwood up ahead to Hogan and Hogan is called for traveling, it's a good call. She forgot to put it on the floor. And she was so excited to see the basket in front of her. She just wanted to take it from there. 12-11 Lady Tigers. Entry pass Johnson. Johnson inside, counted on the foul. Brianna Johnson with their first points and Westchester has the lead back. And that's the first foul on Destiny Nagora. Johnson finishes the three point play, 14-12 Westchester. Eight and a half minutes in. McRae back to Redwood, Hogan. Carroll, they go back outside. Good ball movement, McRae takes a long two, it's no good, Carroll with the rebound. And Carroll can't score, another rebound. And again she misses, tipped. Hogan with it for the Lady Tigers. And Hogan's shot was blocked. Last touch by a Westchester player though. Queensboro will have it under the basket with 25 on the shot clock. Hogan looking to get it in, Nagora. Inside Redwood. Hogan in front of the Westchester bench. Bounce pass to Redwood. Redwood, a long two is no good. And another chance for Queensboro. Queensboro's taken, I don't want to say bad shots, but the shot selection hasn't been that good. A lot of long contested twos. It's exactly what you want Queensboro to take if you're Westchester. Here's McRae to Redwood, down to 11 on the shot clock. A little floater is no good. And Redwood gets it back, and Redwood traveled. She bumped right into Nagora. So Queensboro had four chances on that possession and couldn't score. Westchester still leads 14-12. Morris. Morris lost it out of bounds. Wonder if David Chambers would think about pressing here, or at some point in the game, try to get Westchester to use a lot of energy. If you're wondering, Queensboro doesn't do a lot of pressing. A lot of 2-3 zone in the half court. I don't think he would press unless it was really late in the game. Hogan, outside Redwood. Now McRae. McRae, tough shot off glass is no good. And McRae had the rebound go through her hands. Carroll tried to take it away from Morris, but couldn't. And Amanda Smith has the ball crossing half court. 14-12 Westchester, we've hit the midway point of the first half. Johnson, a floater, is good. Nice touch by Brianna Johnson. 16-12 Westchester. So a nice answer after Queensboro took a 12-11 lead. McRae along two is no good. And not even close, and Johnson with it now for Westchester. Johnson, a nice stutter step, but she couldn't finish. Redwood up ahead to Hogan. Hogan going inside, and a charge is called. Good job by Amanda Smith to stay in there and take the contact. And timeout is taken by David Chambers with 9.08 to go. Oh, it's a full timeout. David Chambers doesn't like what he sees. 16-12, Westchester.
9.08 to go in the first half. Westchester ball. Basketball is a game of runs. This game in represents that pretty good. 9-0 Westchester to begin. Then Queensboro went on a 12-2 run to take the lead. But Westchester has scored the last five points. It's an offensive rebound. Johnson's shot was blocked. Tipped. Albino gets it back. And Westchester will reset. Take some time off the clock. Shorten the game. That favors the team with fewer players. As Zerbo, Zerbo is fouled. And will go to the line for two. She was in the act of shooting. This is something you don't see a lot. The other four players going back to the other end of the court. The right gang right for defense. Robert Holford did that when he coached Queensborough's men for a year. First free throw is no good. As Anias Ward goes in for the Lady Tigers. Zerbo trying to split the free throws. And does. 17-12, it's six points in a row for Westchester. Ward just into the game. Outside McRae to Redwood. Inside, they tried to get it to Carroll. And a foul is called against Westchester. That is the first foul against Brianna Johnson. The first foul called against Westchester, 11.40 into the game. Redwood. Ward. Being guarded by Morris. Outside, they get it into Carroll, and Carroll puts it in off glass. 17-14. I think they'll keep pounding it into Carroll until they can prove that they can stop her. There's a nice basket by Amanda Smith. 19-14, Westchester. Ward takes a three, and it's no good. And Albino hauls in the rebound, and then a foul is called against Ward. And they'll put her on the line. It's a one and one situation. And those are the fouls that kill you as a coach. You see one of your girls commit a foul 93 feet away from the basket. A game like this or a roster like this when a team is thin. Albino hits the first, by the way, it's 2014. Reminds me of the BMCC coach, Veronica Sherman. She won the CUNY title a few years ago and she had seven girls on her team. Seven talented girls, but still only seven. As Albino makes both, it's 21-14. And her thing was, we may only have seven and the other team can have 12, but you can only have five on the court at a time. And that's, I think, Westchester's philosophy. Albino takes away the pass. Another Queensboro turnover, and Westchester leads by a touchdown. It's 21 14. 7 15 to go in the first half. Amanda Smith, bounce pass to Johnson. Johnson outside, Albino going baseline. Up and under, and she puts it in off glass. What a move by Albino. 23-14. So Queensboro went on a 12-2 run, and now Westchester's on a 12-2 run. Redwood, bounce pass to Ward. Ward inside, tough shot is short, no good, got her miss. Offensive rebound, she tries handing it to Carroll and it's turned over. Queensboro not doing themselves any favors. Under six and a half minutes to play. Shortening the game. They get into their offense. There are 10 seconds on the shot clock now. Albino. Albino muscling her way inside and is fouled. More free throws for Westchester. Dana Fusco goes in for Queensboro and Nia Ward to the bench.
First foul on El Macaro. Albino with eight points, make it nine. Biggest lead of the game for Westchester, it's 24-14. And now 25-14. And the other thing is Westchester is making their free throws. Fusco catches and fires an air ball. And Smith will jog up the court, no rush. And I imagine they'll keep doing that unless Queensboro forces the issue. 5.50 to go in the first half. Westchester up by 11. Good game plan in place. Nice pass inside. And a foul called as Albino went down. Foul goes against Alana McRae. It was a tough one because it looked like she may have just fallen. Not sure if she was tripped. Of course, I'm in the top of the bleachers, so I'm going to give the ref the benefit of the doubt. 26-14. Albino has 11 points. Make it 12 points. I get 27-14 Westchester. About a 16-2 run. And Queensboro wondering what is going on. Five and a half minutes to go in the first. Redwood, nice move inside. Redwood now has four points. 27-16. Amanda Smith, now Redwood, coming up on her a little. Fusco, Lynch throws in the zone, Morris. Morris going in the lane and putting it in off glass. Morris with her first points of the game, it's 29-16. She didn't care that Candija Carroll's almost a foot taller than her. She just went right past her and put it in off glass and another turnover. Amanda Smith. Smith has had a nice game running the offense. She has five points. And in total control of this offense, now Redwood up on her. Morris, 10 on the shot clock, Zerbo. Gives it back to Morris. A little too far underneath, outside. Smith, the three, and it's no good. Tipped, and Carroll has it for Queensboro. Redwood. Redwood going all the way to the basket and misses, tipped. And Morris has it for Westchester. Almost taken away from behind and then a near turnover. Trying to get it across. And they avoid a 10 second violation. Westchester ball up by 13, under four minutes to play in the first. Nice move by Smith. And Smith puts it in off glass. Amanda Smith makes it 31-16. And these players are going right at Carroll. They're not worried about her shot blocking ability. And Queensboro answers with the three. It's Alana McRae from downtown. Lead is down to 12. How about foul trouble for Westchester? Brianna Johnson has committed one foul. And that's it. Just one foul committed 16 minutes and 45 seconds into the half. Smith to Morris, Morris going inside. Couldn't score, Carroll contested the shot. Redwood, Morris takes it away from behind but lost it out of bounds. She was close to the sideline but a nice play by Morris to get the hand in. Nagora and Hogan go in for Queensboro. Redwood to Fusco. Back to Redwood, back to Fusco. Her foot is on the line, it's a long two. And Fusco has her first points of the game. Little five nothing run for the Lady Tigers. That's after a 20 to four run for Westchester. 31-21. And that pass, not wise, Fusco picked it off. 
Two and a half minutes to play in the first. Busco, it was kicked. Amanda Smith stuck her leg out. Westchester coaching staff saying watch the middle. And they keep the Queensboro out on the perimeter. And there's Carroll in the middle. That kills you as a coach. You say watch the middle and then arguably the best, one of the best players in the region gets it all alone and puts it in. It's 31-23. Morris is called for a charge. Now Queensboro, after falling by behind by as many as 15, now trail by eight and they have the ball. Nice seven nothing run. Hogan, Carroll. Good ball movement and Carroll inside. She couldn't score, got her own rebound. Hogan, wild shot is no good. And Westchester has it. Amanda Smith. The Smith takes a three and puts up an air ball. Not a characteristic possession. They've had success when they've slowed it down and gone in the half court. Hogan with a good look. No basket, Nagora the offensive rebound. And Nagora is called for traveling. The traveling came before she was uh, contacted by the Westchester player. So Westchester looks to push the lead back to double digits. A minute and a half to play in the first. 31-23. So that's an outside Morris. Morris going to the basket. Couldn't put it in off glass. Queensborough with the size advantage, but Westchester is going right to the basket. I know they've missed the last few inside, but they've had success. And pass was almost picked off by Amanda Smith. Nice effort to break up the pass. Hogan to Redwood. Little floater is good off glass. And Redwood makes it 31-25. Nine points in a row for Queensboro. Zerbo to Johnson. And Johnson, it was last touched by a Queensboro player. Westchester will have it with 19 on the shot clock. Smith. The pass by Albino was off the mark. Queensboro ball. So after playing less than inspired basketball for most of the first half, they only trailed by six. Queensboro did have a 12-2 run and they're in the middle of a nine nothing run right now. Carroll Misses Albino with the rebound and Westchester can hold for the final shot. How many teams have a 12-2 run and a 9-0 run and they're gonna go into halftime trailing by at least six? And timeout is called by Westchester. They'll drop a play to end the half. 12 and two 10 seconds remaining. Thirty second timeout. The scoring so far, Albino leads Westchester with a dozen. Amanda Smith has seven, Zerbo and Johnson have five apiece, and Morris has two. Queensboro Carroll has eight, Redwood has six, Hogan has four, McRae has three, Fusco and Valentine have two apiece. So Westchester will try to beat the buzzer. Try to get a good shot, and I guess the other end of that is you don't want to go too soon into your offense, because you don't want Queensboro to get another possession. Smith, 10 seconds left. Seven seconds now, Smith. Tough shot by Smith, it's no good, Albino. The putback is good off glass. And that will take us to the end of the half. So Westchester with five players comes into Bayside and they lead at halftime 33-25. Marie Albino leading the way with 14 points.
Second half about to begin. Westchester leading 33-25. Very strange first half. Westchester started on a 9-0 run. Queensborough answered back with the 12-2 run. Westchester then went on a 20-4 run. Then Queensborough ended the half on a 9-2 run. And Amanda Smith misses a three-pointer, but gets it back. And Smith, nice bounce pass inside. Morris, the defense collapses, and Morris puts it in. Tough angle shot. And it's only Morris' the second basket of the game, but Westchester, with only five players, leads by 10. And Westchester as a team only committed two fouls in the first half as Fusco misses a long two. And Smith is tripped up. And then Smith drew it off the back of Carroll. And that's the second time Smith uh, was fallen on or tripped. Defense! Defense! You gotta watch out for an injury. Hate to see her roll up her ankle. Smith with the ball, Westchester up by 10, Zerbo back to Smith. Brianna Johnson going baseline, and Carroll got the hand on it. Johnson saves it in, down to three on the shot clock, two, one. Johnson shot is blocked from behind by Carroll. And Queensborough has the ball, Redwood. Redwood almost lost it in a tie up between, between Zerbo and Carroll. Possession arrow favors Queensboro. Twenty-four on the shot clock. Redwood, see if they could get her going. She could score points in a hurry. Fusco to Hogan. Bounce pass, Fusco. Carroll back outside, Redwood, nice fake. But Redwood misses the shot. And it's taken away from behind, it's Valentine, and then an over and back is called. Westchester ball. Nice play by Valentine, but she lost where she was and went into the backcourt. The refs have had a good game. It's been a pretty quick game, and Fusco with the strip. Good defense by Queensboro. Fusco dribbles out. Good transition defense by Westchester. Redwood. Redwood, tough shot, and she's fouled. And if that's on Morris, that will be her second. It's actually the second foul on Brianna Johnson. First foul of the second half against Westchester. Redwood makes the first. 35-26. Redwood splits the free throws, rattled out. Westchester walking it up, see if they do what they did in the first half. Take time off the clock. Fewer possessions, shorten the game and it's turned over. Numbers for Queensboro, Redwood. And good defense by Smith, but Carroll with the rebound. And Carroll misses. And then a foul is called against Queensboro, maybe a bit of a frustration foul. And Queensboro can be, they can afford to be a little more aggressive. Deeper team, first foul on Redwood. Long pass, Morris. Morris's shot is no good. Zerbo with the near rebound tries to save it in, but she was on the line. Thirty-five twenty-six Westchester. Almost three minutes into the second half. Fusco launches a three. It's no good. And Albino with the rebound. Amanda Smith crossing half court. Albino going inside and she's fouled. And that is a bit of a bailout. Not a bad call, but a bailout. Because she went up in the air. And I don't think there was any chance of that shot going in and Carroll came in and fouled her. She was going for the ball. 
They say it's the third foul on Whitney Hogan. I thought it was Carroll who committed the foul. Of course, I'm at the top of the bleachers, so I'll just say Hogan committed her third. 36-26. And now 37-26. Albino has 16 points. It's a quiet 16. Now under 17 minutes to play. And Westchester leads by 11. Well, Redwood going inside and hits. Nice move by Redwood. It's 37-28. And Morris got behind the defense, couldn't score. And Carroll with the rebound. Zerbo running alongside Redwood. Nice pass to Fusco. Back to Redwood. Redwood going in the lane, and Redwood puts it in. 37-30. And Redwood now has 11 points. Smith is fouled by Fusco. Fusco tried to use the sideline as another defender, but was too aggressive. And Fusco will go to the bench in favor of Destiny Nagora. That was the second foul on Fusco. Morris' shot is good. Nice touch for Morris. 39-30. Four minutes into the second half. Queensboro was only led for a few seconds in this game. That was 12-11. There's a long two by Grayson, which is no good. It wasn't a great shot. Not just because she missed. It wasn't that good of a look. For David Chambers, you don't want your team to start getting desperate and taking a lot of long jumpers. They have not fed Candija Carroll the way you would you think they might. And Westchester has had some trouble defending her. Zerbo. No basket. Albino the rebound. And Albino puts it in off glass. 18 points for Albino. 41-30 Westchester. And that was with Carroll all over her. And with the shot clock running down. Redwood to Nagora. Redwood to Grayson. Redwood back to Grayson. Down to 10 on the shot clock. And a foul is called against Zerbo, I believe. Tough call against Westchester. They had played 20 seconds of good defense. Good call. And it is the first foul on Zerbo. So 15 minutes to play, exactly. 41-30. And Smith breaks up the pass for Carroll. Well, they tried getting it to her. And now she'll move a few feet and try it again. McCray. Redwood. Back to McCray. McCray, it's a three, and it's no good. Nagora. Loose ball, and Nagora had the rebound and didn't even look at the basket, even though she was a foot away. And Smith lost the handle on it. Coaching staff saying relax. And it's actually gonna be Westchester ball. Thought it went off of Smith. Well, now it's turned over. Queensboro with numbers the other way. Redwood, no good. Smith altered the shot. Nagora, the rebound and the putback. She didn't make the same mistake. She knew what to do when she got the rebound this time. It's 41-32. Now Zerbo, as to Albino, back to Zerbo. Johnson, bounce pass is picked off by Carroll. And that pass is intercepted by Smith. What a strange game, 14 minutes to go. And Zerbo from downtown, it's no good. Morris chasing it down and saves it, but right to Carroll. Carroll to Grayson. Bounce pass, Redwood got behind the defense and will go in for the uncontested layup. It's 41-34. The lead is down to seven. Smith going inside. Smith attacks Carroll and puts it in off glass. 
Nice move by Amanda Smith. It's 43-34 and David Chambers calls timeout. Forty-three thirty-four Westchester, thirteen thirty-one to go. To full timeout. Thirteen thirty-one to go. Queensboro went into halftime trailing by eight, and six and a half minutes into this half, they trail by nine. Every time Queensboro comes, uh, cuts into the lead, Westchester answers back with the basket. Westchester led nine nothing. Queensboro took a 12-11 lead, and that's been it. Westchester has led ever since. Carroll inside. No good. Her shot was altered. I couldn't tell from here. I think a Westchester player got a hand and while she was going up. Altered the shot. Going inside is Albino. 45-34. 20 points for Albino. 45-34. McRae back to Redwood. McRae, it's a long two. It's good. Ball 45 to go. McRae's second basket of the game. It's 45 36. Zerbo going inside. Tough shot is no good. Johnson with the offensive rebound. See if she takes it back out. Smith. And Smith will reset. Letting time go down. 15 on the shot clock. Smith going and she dribbled it off her foot. Good play by Carroll, using the sideline as an extra defender, the baseline as an extra defender. Have to do pretty good dribbling around that area as McRae hits a three-pointer. Talana McRae shooting Queensboro back into the game. Five straight points for her. 12 minutes to go, it's 45-39 Westchester. Nice entry pass, Johnson puts it in off glass. She got behind Carroll. Seven points for Brianna Johnson. 47-39 and Queensboro gets close but they can't seem to get quite close enough. It's 11, they cut it to six and there's Westchester pushing it back up to eight. McRae. Grayson, it's a baseline jumper, it's no good, tipped. Loose ball. Carroll going on the floor for it, Smith. And timeout is called by Westchester. Smith was being hounded by two Queensboro players. And so Westchester will keep possession. 11.22 to go, 47.39.
Westchester ball, 11.22 to go. He called timeout when Smith was being double teamed. There's a pass to Johnson who dribbles out. Smith was asking for it underneath, now gets it outside. Smith, little hook shot. It's no good. Couldn't get it over Carroll. McCray gets behind the defense. Wave the basket off. That's going to be traveling as David Chambers doesn't like the call. So wave off the basket. It's still an eight-point game. And that really hurts. There was nobody between her and the basket, and she traveled, and then a foul is called against Grayson. That's her third. 10.55 to go. They're gonna run it down. About Maria Albino, 20 points. And in an odd way, it's been a quiet 20 points. Smith gave a little fake to Redwood, and Smith throws up a left-handed shot off the front of the rim. Johnson almost saved it. Last touch by Grayson, and Westchester will keep it. Now a little desperation for Queensboro settling in. Ed Johnson alone on the other side. Now Johnson cutting across the middle, asking for it, gets it. Facing Carroll. There's a little shot and banks it in. 49-39. McCray. Now Queensborough has to respect McCray after she had a few shots. Redwood couldn't score. Carroll the rebound and she puts it in off glass. Carroll now has 10 points. It's 49-41, halfway through the second. Amanda Smith directing the offense. Nice bounce pass to Morris, and Morris couldn't score. Almost got her own rebound back, and Carroll, and a foul is called. Only the third foul of the half against Westchester. That's number two on Morris. 9.45 to go, Westchester leads 49-41. Grayson to McCray. Pass for Nagoro, does not get there. Nine and a half minutes to go, Westchester can make it a double digit game. Redwood guarding Smith. And another important note, Smith and Albino, who have been the two best players for Westchester, neither has committed a foul. And there are two more points for Amanda Smith. She has 11. It's a 51-41 lead. Number 10 puts Westchester up by 10. McCray to Redwood. Redwood lost a handle on it. Nagora's shot was blocked. It got to Carroll, and Carroll is fouled. And Albino commits a foul about 10 seconds after I said she hasn't committed one yet. The so refs come together to discuss something. Carroll at the line. Friendly roll on the first. 11 points now for Carroll and Whitney Hogan goes in for Destiny Nagora. Hogan, one of the two returners on Queensboro, the other is at the foul line. Carroll looking to make both. Short on the second, and Zerbo with the rebound. Nine point game with nine minutes to go. Amanda Smith being guarded by Redwood, but not right up on her. And Smith blows right past Redwood. Nice bounce pass to Zerbo, and Zerbo puts it in off glass. She beat Redwood off the dribble, and that pulled everybody out of position. It's 53-42. Grayson asks for it, gets it, goes baseline, now dribbles back out. Redwood with the ball. And that shot is no good. Tipped. Carroll. 
and Carroll puts it in. 53-44. Teams have been trading baskets and Queensboro is getting to that point where they can't do it anymore. They need stops. Morris is fouled. That's another one that really, she was just throwing up a prayer. As Westchester, the other four girls go back on defense. Morris with six points on the night so far. Morris makes the first, 54-44. Morris splits the free throws. 8.05 to go. And Queens Row comes up and Westchester is already in place defensively. Hogan inside. Couldn't score, got her own rebound. And a crowd of three Westchester players. Carroll got it and put it in off glass. All of a sudden, Candija Carroll has 15 points, but Westchester has a 54-46 lead. Johnson will go back outside. Albino being guarded by Redwood. Albino, it's a tough angle shot. Carroll may have deflected it. 7.25 to go, Redwood. Albino tried to take it away from behind. Now Grayson, it's a long two, it's no good. And Carroll touched it last. And Redwood goes to the bench. Amanda Smith, crossing half court. And Smith is fouled and almost put that one in. Amanda Smith with 11 points on the night. Trying to add two more. Westchester shot pretty well from the foul line. Look, Queens Row hasn't been able to cut into the lead. It was an eight point game at halftime and it's still an eight point game. Smith misses the first. Smith makes the second, it's 55-46. 7.05 remaining. That was a second foul on Carroll, by the way. Under seven minutes to go now, McRae. Grayson, Grayson going inside, the floater is no good. Hogan the rebound and she's fouled. Now Hogan can take points off the lead without time coming off the clock. That's the second foul on Albino. Misses the first. Got to make these. They are called free throws. And they miss both. Whitney Hogan. And Westchester's kept her quiet tonight. Hogan only has four points. Timeout Westchester. With 6.41 to go. Westchester ball after the timeout. Johnson going inside. They attack. Carroll counted on the foul. Brianna Johnson puts it in. It's a double digit game.
And that's the third foul on Carroll. Johnson can't finish the three-point play. 57-46, six and a half minutes to play. McCray, they've been closing out on her since she hit the two jumpers. Fusco misses a long two, Hogan is fouled. Frustrating for the Westchester sideline, they can't seem to pull in a rebound. And that's three on Albino now. So about two minutes ago I said, good for Westchester that she hasn't committed a foul, and then she commits three. And Hogan misses another free throw. And Valentine goes in for Carroll. I don't know if it's fair to say Carroll has scored a quiet 15, but she hasn't been a huge factor dominating inside. And Hogan misses another one. So that's four free throws Hogan has missed in the last minute or so. Westchester still leads by 11. 6-10 to play. Smith. Smith to Zerbo. Morris, under six minutes to play. Under 10 on the shot clock, Johnson, bounce pass. Turnaround shot is no good off the front of the rim. Albino had a good look though. Here's Grayson going the other way. Nice pass to Hogan and Hogan can't score. Hogan was at point, point blank range. Missed. Westchester ball under 540 to go. No matter what happens in the last five and a half minutes, win or lose, what a gutsy effort by Westchester coming in here with five players. Fusco got the hand in there under 10 on the shot clock again. Johnson inside and she's fouled. Fouled with six on the shot clock. Couldn't ask for more if you're Westchester. You take 24 seconds off the clock and then you get to go to the line. It'll be a one and one as Redwood goes back in for Queensboro. Johnson misses a first. That was the front end of a one and one. Redwood couldn't score, got her own rebound. Had it blocked, tipped underneath, blocked again. Miss, missed a few chances and Zerbo chases it down. Under five minutes to play. Amanda Smith. Directing traffic and milking the clock. There's 12 on the shot clock now. Albino up and under, it's no good. She already hit one shot like that. Albino got the hand in. 4.35 to play, Queensboro down by 11. Hogan going inside and she's fouled. That was a tough off balance shot. And that's going to be the third foul on Brianna Johnson. Four thirty-one to go, and Hogan makes a free throw. Fifty-seven forty-seven. Hogan misses again. Valentine the rebound and the putback. 57-49. It's an eight point game just like it was at halftime. And Westchester will milk the clock a little more. The pass was almost turned over and it is. Numbers for Queensboro. Grayson, Grayson spin move, shot is short, no good, tipped. And Hogan is fouled. Westchester just trying to hang on. And that's the third foul on Morris. So after staying out of foul trouble for the first 30 or 32 minutes, now Morris has three, Johnson has three, and Albino has three. Front end of the one and one is Miss Valentine, the rebound, she misses, tip. Grayson with it now. Grayson inside and another foul is called. Westchester having trouble boxing out. 
3.57 to go. That's number four on Johnson. One more and she's gone, and then it would be four on five. Hogan at the line. Two shots. And Hogan misses another one. He's frustrated. See if Westchester can box out Valentine. And Hogan misses both. 57-49. Under four minutes to play. And after all that, Westchester still leads by eight. 3.40 to go. Johnson, Fusco tying her up. And it will stay with Westchester on the alternating possession arrow. 3.39 to go. 12 on the shot clock. Pass was almost turned over. Smith, Smith down to eight, seven, six, Amanda Smith. Five almost had taken away, she's on the floor. And traveling is called. Traveling against Westchester, they were down to two on the shot clock anyway. Three twenty-five to go, Fusco thought about it. Grayson back to Fusco. Now they get Redwood involved, going inside, almost lost it. Now Grayson. Hogan, it's a long two, and it's no good. Valentine, the rebound outside. Fusco, it's a long two, no good, tipped. And Zerbo with it. Zerbo. And timeout taken by Westchester with 2.59 to go. Queensboro trails 57-49. Westchester ball with 2.59 remaining. They lead by eight. Smith gets it into Johnson. Johnson had her shot blocked. Queensboro coming back the other way. Johnson had to make sure not to commit a charge. She would have fouled out. Grayson is fouled. And that's number four on Albino. So that's two Westchester players with four fouls. Grayson misses her free throw. Hogan has missed, I think, seven free throws in the last few minutes, and Grayson misses the first. Grayson's still looking for her first point. And that's the kind of night it's been for Queensboro, although Fusco dribbles out with it. And Grayson inside, Smith went down, but no call. 2.35 to go, Westchester up by eight. Somehow Queensboro hasn't been able to cut into the lead in a foul called against Queensboro. Two and a half minutes to play. Still a one and one. That's number four on Hogan. One more and she's done. Morris at the line. 
Now two Westchester players are actually in position in case there's a mess. Morris misses the front end of the one and one. Loose ball, Smith on the ground for it. It rolls out of bounds and the ball goes to Queensborough with 2.26 to go. Queensboro trying to hit the 50 point mark. They haven't been able to cut into this eight point lead. And they still haven't. Yusko to Redwood. Redwood misses, got her own rebound trip. And Johnson with the block. What a big play by Johnson. If that was called a foul, she would be gone. Great defensive play. Now Albino, under two minutes to play. Zerbo. Running some clock under fifth, uh, excuse me, 13 to go on the shot clock. Smith inside. Smith, left hand off glass. She got her own rebound and she tries to dribble out. Puts it in off glass. Amanda Smith, 59-49, 100 seconds to go. And Grayson, now a little urgency and a charge is called. Morris stood in and took the contact. And that's number four on Grayson. See if Queensboro fouls, or if they press, there's a minute and a half to go. Westchester leads 59-49. And they're just playing defense, and now a little pressure. Smith, gotta run the clock. The clock is not a friend of Queensboro's right now. 10 on the shot clock. There's a tough shot, she went up in the air. Johnson almost saved it in, but she was on the line. 108 to go. Queensboro got a much needed stop, now they need a much needed basket. Redwood, 59-49, one minute to go. There's a three by Redwood, it's no good. And rebounded by Westchester. And no pressure. Albino, bounce past Smith. Queensboro isn't going to foul. Zerbo had her shot deflected, but it'll stay with Westchester. Interesting decision by Queensboro not to foul. It's a 10 point game with 37 seconds to go. Underneath, and a foul is called. Westchester is 36 and 7, 10 seconds away from coming into RFK with five players and beating the defending CUNY champions. And guess who fouls out? It's not a player from Westchester. It's Whitney Hogan of the Lady Tigers fouling out with five points. Johnson misses the first. About this scoring, Albino has 20. Smith, 14. Johnson is at the line, has 11. Morris with seven and Zerbo with seven. It's a pretty even attack. Grayson, it's a long two, it's no good. Redwood, 26 seconds to go. Redwood takes a three, that's no good. Valentine the rebound, Valentine misses. Valentine another rebound, and finally a basket. But it's 59-51 with 15 seconds to go. Johnson to Albino, 10 seconds to go. Eight, seven, six. Queensboro's not gonna foul. And Johnson scores with one tenth of a second to go. And Westchester goes on the road to Queensboro with five players and wins 61-51. Queensboro only led once. Westchester came out on fire. They led 9-0. Queensboro came back on a 12-2 run to take a 12-11 lead. And then Westchester went on a 20-4 run, never looked back. Led for the entirety of the second half. Tough loss for Queensboro. This is QCC alum David Russell. The final again, Westchester 61, Queensboro 51. Thanks for watching.